Mr. Heffern here, and this is a quick video on scientific notation. Okay, standard notation is the normal way people write numbers, which works well for most common and day-to-day uh, -day values. For example, uh, 15 people, uh, $157,992.72, 42 centimeters, 54.168 seconds. Scientific notation. This is a useful way to write numbers as a power of 10 to save space when using very large and very small values. So for example, there's approximately 70 billion trillion stars in the universe. That's around 7 times 10 to the power of 22 stars. So here's a few more examples. Population of the Earth. Uh, according to the website today, there was around 7.442 billion people today. Uh, in standard notation, that's 7, for, uh, 7 billion, 442 million people. And so if we move the decimal over from here, three, six, nine jumps, we get 7.442 times 10 to the 9 people. The world economy, there's approximately $74.1 trillion U.S. in the world today. And so if you write that in standard notation, there's 74 trillion, 100 billion U.S. dollars. And we bring the decimal from where the dollar sign would be, over three, six, nine, twelve. 13 jumps to the left, 7.41 times 10 to the 13 US dollars. How many atoms are in an average human being of 70 kilos? 7 billion billion, or 7,000 trillion trillion atoms. So when you write standard notation, it's pretty big, it doesn't really fit in the column. There's a total of 27 zeros though after the 7. So that's 7 times 10 to the 27 atoms. The size of an amoeba, so these little uh, things that live in water. You know, 500 microns across, or uh, 0 0.000, 500, 500 meters. So for that one, we're going to move the decimal to the right. So that's three jumps, four jumps all together, 5.00 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. And finally, the size of a hydrogen nucleus. It's around 1.76 femtometers. That's about uh, approximately 0 0.000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 1. 76 meters. So in that case, we have to jump over 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 jumps to the decimal, 1.76 times 10 to the negative 15 meters. So a couple more examples here. So the proper, uh, proper scientific notation only ever has one digit to the left of the decimal. So in this case here, we have the planet Earth. The uh, planet Earth has an approximate radius of 6,380,000 meters. And to uh, rewrite the number in scientific notation, we're just going to take that decimal, we're going to jump it over three, six jumps, and when you jump to the left, you get a positive exponent, so 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. And um, here's an example where we do the opposite, go the opposite direction. Here we got a cold virus, you know, the common cold, the rhinovirus, makes everyone sick. So the uh, cold virus has a diameter of 30 nanometers, or 30 billionths of a meter. So when we write that standard notation, the uh, 3 is going to be way over here in the 8th decimal place. And we got to move the decimal over 3, 6, 8 jumps. And so in that case, in scientific notation, it's 3.0 times 10 to the negative 8 meters. Okay. Sometimes people do make mistakes. Uh, or sometimes it's just more convenient to ignore the rule, that's fine. So uh, remember, there's supposed to be one digit to the left. But what if you have something like this, a resistance of 150,000 ohms? Well, uh, a proper scientific notation would be to move the decimal over three, five jumps, 1.5 times 10 to the 5 ohms. But, you know, sometimes it's more convenient just to have everything in terms of thousands of ohms. So in that case, sometimes people will write it like this, 150 times 10 to the 3. Which is the same value, just it's not really grammatically correct. Uh, computers, computers um, sometimes have difficulty writing numbers as powers of 10. It just doesn't look as nice on a computer screen. So for a long time now, computers have used e-notation for this. So um, 157 million, instead of going 1.57 times 10 to the 7, 10 to the 7 is just e plus 0, 07. So that's how many volts we have, maybe in the lightning bolt. Amperage, 0 0.025 amps. So in that case here, uh, you're just going to move the decimal over two places to the right. And so that's 2.5 times 10 to the negative 2, or E negative 2 amps.
Okay, so in summary, it's a very uh, useful method of writing large and uh, minuscule numbers as it takes up a lot less space sometimes. Uh, when to use it? Well, I only use it when it's actually going to save me some time and space. So uh, numbers over 10 million or uh, below a million. Uh, but, you know, it depends on what you're comfortable with. Uh, in a lab experiment where you're really worried about communicating clearly how many significant digits you have or um, how precise or accurate your values are, then you may wish to uh, use scientific notation even for small values. And here's a little meme uh, for Avogadro's number from the chemistry class. What do you get when you cut an avocado into 6 times 10 to the 23 pieces? You get a guacamole, because a mole, Avogadro's number, and so many pieces are in a, in a mole. So. But avoid using this hat sign, please. Uh, try using superscript. And um, in worst case scenario, you could always use uh, the e, e symbol. Okay. All right, thank you.